starting to rain again, so I'm going to have to get the best hold I can on this camera. I'm not exactly sure how this is going to come out, but I'm trying to point it down toward the sidewalk. Right now, I'm crossing Catherine Street. to just be the puddles here and if that puddle wasn't there on the left there there's about a three inch high elevation so you got to come over here to the right onto a very narrow sidewalk where at times 80% of the sidewalk is taken up with shrubbery, almost as far as the eye can see. This property belongs to the Uville Apartments. I was here the other day. The only way to get through this property without harming myself or my wheelchair is to pull over into the grass. I'm sure moms and strollers have to do this too, and I'm also 100% sure that anybody with a walker or a cane is having to navigate this uneven terrain just because the Uville Apartments can't be bothered to fix the hedges and actually allow the public to use the sidewalk which the public paid for. God forbid. So we're heading down Cornelia again. I'm having trouble. I have to try to readjust my grip here. Heading down Cornelia. Big bump. My umbrella keeps getting pushed around by the head. trouble controlling my umbrella and the camera. That happens a lot. The hedges, are, when they're tall at the top, they push the umbrella around. So it's like the umbrella is swirling around over your head while you try to keep control of your wheelchair, keep control of the umbrella. And uh, slide off the sidewalk or tip over. Okay, this is a really bad section right by Remax. Yeah, this is the office I went behind the other day. The entrance and rear. <laughs> That's a joke. Even their front entrance wouldn't be wheelchair accessible, but let's show you the rear. They've got a speed bump. They're safety conscious. Here we are at their office entrance. There's a sign on the side wall there. And you have two elevations. Absolutely no way for a person in a wheelchair to get into this building. I guess people in wheelchairs don't buy property. What a thought, what a concept. Nothing like excluding a great percentage of the population. Oh yeah, this tree. Forgot about this tree. Right here in front of Remax. This tree. In front of Remax. Sticks out way over the sidewalk. Okay, so much so that I cannot have my umbrella up and go under that lamp, that, that, that lift, okay? So I'm going to have to go over to the left side this time to avoid having that limb knock my umbrella 
right out of my hand. We're so friendly in Plattsburgh. We think about everybody. And everybody's equal. Yeah. Great. I wish it wasn't raining so hard because I would love to show you some of the uh, beautiful. Haha, <laughs> she laughed. Big bump coming up here. Big bump coming up again. Yeah, it's losing my grip. It's raining really hard. Okay, check this out. Right on the corner of Cornelia Street and Oak, there is not one section of this curb cut that I can safely cross because the puddle's so deep. So I gotta turn down Oak and try to find a driveway. So it'll allow me to get to the other side. And of course, some of the driveways have really big changes in elevation. This one's probably two inches, but I really don't have a choice. There we go. Turning back on oak. Okay. I'm in a lot of trouble holding this umbrella. I'm going to try to give you a shot of this. Elevation changes. You can see how bumpy this sidewalk is. This is oak on the lake side. I'm going to turn the camera off for a minute. 